STEM Club Chili Crystals. I'm Sandy and today we're going to make some crystals in a bowl after we put the ingredients in the refrigerator. You should have already picked up your take and make bag which will have everything you need except some water to do this project. Let's get started. In your take and make bag you're going to find a baggie of Epsom salt, a little container of sand, a spoon, and a bowl. The only other thing that you will need from your house is some hot water out of your faucet and you'll want to have mom or dad or an older sibling help you get the hot water. Um, you don't want to burn yourself but you do want the water to be pretty warm. And so the first thing you're going to do is put the Epsom salt in the bowl. The ratio on this is the same amount of Epsom salt as you have water. You've got a half a cup of Epsom salt in your bag. So if you want to use the whole bag of Epsom salt at one time, you certainly can do that. So you would just pour it in the bowl, we'll pour it all out. Then you'll add your warm water, just like that, just pour it in the bowl, and the Epsom salt are going to start to dissolve. And to help them dissolve, we are just going to take the spoon and stir, 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 keep stirring for one to two minutes until the Epsom salt is all dissolved. So just make sure you're just stirring on all the sides and the bottom and getting that all mixed up. And just keep stirring, stirring, stirring. Once you have stirred for one to two minutes, you should see very little of the Epsom salt in the bottom of your bowl. Your water will be pretty clear. If you have some and it's okay with your parents, you could add some food coloring into this mixture if it's okay with mom or dad. Um, just be aware that that'll stain your clothes and furniture and all the things. So make sure to get permission before you do it. It'll just make your crystals a little prettier and a little easier to see. So you would do that at this point. You would add the food color in and stir. And once you've done that step, if you choose to do it, you're going to take the little container that you have of sand and just take a couple pinches of the sand and just sprinkle it around. I don't know if you can see, I'm just kind of pinching some out of there and just sprinkling it around. And that's because the Epsom salt needs a little bit of something to cling to to start growing your crystals and that's what the sand is in there for. So just sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. If you choose to put the whole thing in, go ahead and do that. But then don't you don't need to stir it at this point. What you will do is you will take your bowl of Epsom salt and water and sand and food coloring if you're using it and put it in your refrigerator. And you want to leave it at least overnight so if you do this after supper, you could check it after breakfast in the morning or 24 hours, however long. You're just gonna have to have a little bit of patience because it's not an immediate reaction. But you'll put it in the refrigerator and then the Epsom salt and water will start to turn into crystals. And you will have something that looks like this. This is what your experiment's going to look like once you take it out of the refrigerator after leaving it overnight. You're going to see the crystals forming. You're going to have extra water and that's okay and that'll probably make it a little difficult to see your crystals in the bottom of your bowl. So just take a cup or something like that 
and just pour the extra water off carefully. And so we'll just pour that out. And then what you have left is a whole bunch of really cool looking crystals in the bottom of that bowl. So this is a close-up view of the crystals that were created from our experiment mixing the Epsom salt and water in a little bit of sand. And as you can see, the crystals also were clinging to the side of the bowl and formed a bunch of really pretty little crystals. And they are delicate, so you want to be careful when you're moving your bowl around. And also, if you want to keep it to show people, I would put it back in the refrigerator because if you leave the bowl sitting out at room temperature, the Epsom salt and the water, they're going to go back to room temperature and you're going to end up with nothing but water. So I'm not sure how long it will keep in the refrigerator, but if you want to show it off, that's what I would do is to put it back there. Um, but this is a really fun experiment and a really neat outcome. Thanks for joining us for Chili Crystals. I hope this was a fun project for you. We'd love to see any pictures or video of you doing the project and you can share them with us at the email address that's coming across your screen. Thanks again and we'll see you next time.